Ryan here. Thought I'd do another video for y'all. I'm um, getting ready to cook my kids breakfast. It's actually a little late, it's still morning, but uh, I had to wait for everybody to wake up. So I need to go get me a tripod to do these videos, but right now I have kids and my wife helping me out. This morning I'm gonna do something simple, just some breakfast tacos. So I got eggs, I got sausage. We're using uh, resources we already have. This is just about a half pound of pan sausage I have left over from using it the other day. And then last night we had gone out to eat and I have some leftover cheese fries that my daughter didn't eat. Um, so I'm gonna put something together. This is what I do. I, I create in the kitchen. My family thinks it's funny, but they all eat it and enjoy it. I hope y'all do too. Okay guys, so what I did here, I'm making breakfast tacos. Basically, I'm just beating up some eggs right now, so they're ready to go. I'm just doing the prep work. It's very little. I mean, honestly, like I said, half pound of sausage. I got some leftover uh, cheese fries, and I'm beating my eggs. I don't cook my cheese in it. I put my cheese on with my taco. Um, you can just do sausage, eggs, and cheese, potatoes, eggs, and cheese. I'm just utilizing the rest of my sausage. I'm utilizing the leftovers instead of wasting them. Um, I'm using six eggs. I'm terrible about counting eggs, so I'm using six. I figure scrambled eggs go a longer way. I know we have proteins in them. Six eggs seems a lot. I'm feeding four people this morning, so I figured for you know two eggs per person. Again, I know two eggs would be eight. That would that be eight eggs, but we're going with six. I just felt like that half dozen was more than enough. I got cast iron. I've had it heated on about a medium heat. I don't like going too hard. It's already hot. I'm gonna burn my butter a little bit because it's hot. And I'm sorry for you health freaks. Yes, I'm using some butter. I know I've got some big health freaks in there, but I'm gonna melt my butter in here. And then once it's melted, I'm adding my sausage. Once that sausage is browned up, I'm gonna add the potatoes. Once the potatoes are nice and warm, which won't take but a minute or so, I'm going to add my eggs and then we're done. All right, now we're doing the sausage. Unwrapping it here. Just get what you can. And this is gonna be where we do some work for a little bit. We're gonna brown it. If you have your regular old nonstick pans, I'd say get it on a high heat. I could go a little higher than what I am. I like to brown on a high heat. Um, I use a spatula for like this for everything that I cook almost. It's just what I'm used to and it helps with my chopping again some, somewhat. My wife and I've got some friends that use these fancy little meat grinder things. I, I haven't been able to get used to them. This is what I grew up using. This is what I use. And again, plus I can use it and I can scrape my pan. So we're gonna brown this meat up. And once it's nice and brown, again, this whole breakfast is gonna take us, you know, maybe 20 minutes at most to make. Like you gotta, you know, do a little prep work. I mean, if once you have your sausage stalled, you beat your eggs. I like to pre-beat mine. You can beat them in the middle of this mixture, but Literally preheat your pan, beat the eggs. That's your prep work, it's all your meat. And then once you get the pan nice and hot, which, you know, for this video, mine was not as hot as I wanted it to be, or this would be done already. But it's fine, I just constantly stir, constantly chop. And the food is brown, or my sausage is brown. Now I'm gonna add these cheese fries. You know the joke behind this? I absolutely hate leftover french fries. I joke with my kids all the time, my wife all the time. Do not take home french fries. Leftover french fries suck. I'm not a fan. They're cold, they just don't ever do the same. But I get like a mad scientist in the kitchen sometimes and I will literally do something like this. You know what, I can turn these into potatoes and eggs and cheese, but because I have this sausage, we're using sausage too. You can pre-slice the cold french fries, slicing up cold stuff like that, it's a little easier. 
I'm doing them in the pan and I'm really just getting this nice and hot. Because these are cheesy, they're sticking to the pan a little bit. Again, have a nice good spatula, scrape the bottom of that pan and continue chopping it up. All right, here's the easy part, the last part. I'm taking my bowl of beaten eggs. I'm giving them one last beat just because I'm a weirdo. Scrape all that in. And now, I set that off to the side to clean up and just start scrambling them up. Typically, I have my heat on high, on high, and I just start scrambling these up, especially in my cast iron, like that. You know, again, I'm going with the flow, guys. This isn't prepared, this isn't planned. My th thought is to help y'all out. This is just normal stuff, normal everyday stuff, and I'm just scraping it. Now that these are done, I've got my cast iron here. I know they're still running. I'm turning it off. My pan's gonna retain heat for quite a bit, but even in a nonstick pan, once they get to a good consistency, you turn them off. And I'm just gonna kinda clean my pan up, finish stirring these, scrambling them up. At this point, these are good to go. And then we're gonna start turning on our tortillas, getting those nice and warm. And I can give you some a little tip on that. Tortillas are always better, in my opinion, when you heat them on the skillet. But I'm lazy today. I don't feel like doing them on the skillet because I can only do one or two at a time on my skillet. I have an electric griddle that I can do three to four at a time, but today I'm cheating. I'm gonna wrap them in a wet cloth, wet paper towel, and throw them in the microwave for about a minute and let them steam, and then we got tortillas. I just had a thought that I needed to show you all this, just in case. I don't know if this is the right way. I know it's not the only way. This is how I do it. I completely drench a paper towel. I wring it out. I lay it on my countertop. Now I'm going to get my tortillas, and however many you want, just place them in this, this thing. I'm going to have one, two for a kid, two for another kid, and now i got to open up another package of tortillas, which these are some of my favorite tortillas. They're the ATB Original Fajitas. It's what we use often because they're cheapest. I love the fresh ones out of their bakery the best. They just don't seem to hold up as good. For whatever reason, they go bad in, you know, a day or two. I don't know why. I've tried refrigerating them, vacuum sealing them, and we just can't keep them. But these are my favorite tortillas. They even feel better than these. Like, I almost want to throw these away, but I'm cheap and I'm not. So, you know, we'll get two tacos for everybody. And that may be too, much, too many tortillas, but that's what we're going to do. Now, I just start wrapping them up. And you can wrap them and fold them however you want to. Make it pretty. You know, girls, if you want to be pretty, make them pretty. I got girls, so I keep on folding and do it all nice and pretty. Then I take them and I just stick those in the microwave as is for, like I said, about a minute. Get them nice and hot. The paper towel is typically going to steam it. And you got your tortillas. So here's my fancy setup. We got the fine china out. I got my tortilla warmer. I call them tortillas all the time just to make fun of my kids. Here's my mixture. Then I just put the fixings out if anybody wants extra cheese, sauces. Look at here, efficiency. You save your leftover sauces like my wife does, let's use that. I ought to put this stuff away. But anyway, that's our stuff. I'll show you the uh, made tacos in a minute and we'll get a review from the kids. Yeah. It's just our family tradition. When we sit at the meals together, which we love to do, we gotta pray, so we're gonna bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this great day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for uh, for blessing us with it, Lord. And we ask that you use it to nourish our bodies. Father, I, I ask that you utilize me in, in this role for whatever this is gonna be, Lord. I don't like being on camera. And uh, we'll see what you do. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, I read my Bible daily. Today I read Psalm 36. David starts off verse 1 saying, I have a message for you. And I have a message for you. Jesus is your answer. If you're struggling, you're hurt, depressed, whatever, you may not want to hear it, but Jesus has your answer. 
call out to God and go to seek him. All right, so Grace wanted to actually bite on camera to give the honest review. <laughs> this is her first bite. This is real stuff, guys, real life. We're, again, we're not playing. This is it. How, do you, how is it? What is it? Good stuff? Not good? It's good. We got the two thumbs up. Two thumbs up together. All right. What do you think, Miss Taylor? We got one thumbs up from her. No words. Good I haven't review. eaten anything yet. A heart review. How about you, honey? What do you got? Two thumbs up. No words from anybody. It must be good. We'll dive in and see. Thanks, guys. We'll see y'all later.